Yes. Some of your colleagues are writing down this stuff. Please. Okay? I'm recording this. So, uh, so when do uh, you see it on so this installation here start in 1964 yeah. and on this time it was only based on fossil oil. Ja, og så går vi uh, i 1965, så går vi så til Fælles Madrid. Og i 1986, they start to do it with wood chips. Ja. Okay. Uh, og det, uh, vi har, hvor vi så går til, vi har fem som år, og kan vi komme til. And then in 1990, they start to do it with condensation installation. You will see it a little later what is condensation installation. But that is a new development they make. Condensation. Like insulation or installation? Condensation. Condensation. Condensation installation. Installation. Okay. Condensation installation. So yeah, for two hours in uh hey hey green how we uh so uh, in this uh, little village here, there is 360 households that take the energy for heating their house from this installation. So for two hours in, I think we took small beer there, or there are 100 for home. And in year 2010, this installation took well, two more villages into their installation and so also delivered. Mm. So it was 180 household extra. Well, there are six kilometers and uh, from here and out to the household that are most long away, that is six kilometers. Yeah. The, the owners of the installation is the user, the, the household that are connected to the installation. Of a store percent in the Tinsluta. In Westeri are the more than percent. But it's a thing we have from the house. So people can take their own decision if they want to be connected or not. But in this village here, that is 98% of the household connected. Hmm. So it means that nearly all. So there is only 2% that are not connected. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and in the new that they have connected, the new installation, there is uh, 180 that are connected, but there could be 50 more, but they are not still take decision to, to be connected. So I have to start with the new work we have there. So uh, last year, they start to rebuild the installation here. So they make a new area with a new stove in it. Yeah. So uh, it is finished, the new installation. And he has used it the whole winter. I have a question. And among the one of small things. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, you say that it's it's owned by the people that use it when it's time to raise money to to upgrade it. Or is there like a millage passed, or is there like a surplus of money that's set aside to 
to when something like that needs to be done to upgrade it. Så nu har I taget en beslutning om at, at nybygge noget. Hvordan betaler folk så det? Skal I så ud og hente penge hos dem? Ja, så er det klart. Så, så er I fra til, så, så stiger jeg over om prisen. Ja. Det er tager 12 millioner til det derovre. Ja. Men det var vi jo egentlig startet med allerede for, for tre år siden med at ja. spare lidt op til. Ja. So uh, the, the whole new installation has cost about um, 2.3 million US dollars. Wow. Yeah, but it's actually dollars. No. Yeah. 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 And and uh, the money they have to do this investment, that is that they three years back took the decision to build new and then they raise the price of the heat so that oh, they could make uh, some cash uh, mm. to pay when they start to pay. And uh, uh, the, the Danish state are very positive to such an investment so you can also get guarantee uh, uh, from, from yeah, you can get it from yeah, you can get a guarantee for such a loan also. Okay. Yeah. So it will never happen that people have to go from their home if something happened wrong. That will be a guarantee behind it. But it has never happened that this guarantee has been activated. Okay. Yeah. So in, in the city here, uh, now we passed it in the bus and when we go home again to Polka Center, then you have to look on the roof and you will see that there are more or less no chimney because all the heat come through pipes uh, in the street and go into each household. Mm. And for taking care of all these pipes, oh. there is seven kilometers. Seven kilometers here yeah. in this city, and the new one they have connected, uh, there is also seven kilometers pipes. So totally, uh, Mr. Uh, Preben, is responsible for 14 kilometers of pipes dig down in the ground. Wow. Uh, will you visa or send it to me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, So he will show you such a pipe. From the the street, such a, a pipe go into each household. Wow. And where is the hot water come in? So these that are under this one here come the hot water into the house. Then they take what they need of heat and then it go back here in a closed system to the installation again. Hmm. We, we here for work that could we do me a shoe or twice or yeah, mm. also come out to buy them quick time for a So when they send out the water yeah. uh, from from the installation here and out to the household, the degrees are sixty seven degrees what is that in final? 80? 80? No, maybe 150. I'm thinking pounds. About 150 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's water. It's hot, hot water, yeah. And when it has been into the house and they have taken what they need, then it comes back here to this installation uh, for around 35 degrees. So it drops. So it's half. They have dropped. Yeah. Yeah. Is that from the water usage or from just the heat 
releasing itself naturally through the... No, that's the... Yeah, that's that's the, the after it goes through the whole loop around the whole loss. town... That's just a cooling total down. Loss of heat. Total but, loss of heat. But that's... Okay. Um, very little of that is in the ground. It is lost along the pipe. Most of it is just that the houses are absorbing heat from the water. 32. Or no, 35. What? Heat loss? The temperature when it comes back. So, uh, it's yeah. just an uh, exchange of okay. heat exchange that you need in each house. In each house there's a heat exchange. Yes, they're both the books were. Yeah. Yeah. It's for heating and for using water for shower. Mm -hmm. So it's a heat so understand it's there, yeah, when it's you it's use a shower, it's not it's not taking that water. It's just it's that water, water passes by a heat exchanger, and the water from your house goes past the pipes that hold That's that hot water. The water here would be considered gray water, like not not for no no sorry, no, sorry. no it's just a we just have a to tool. talk about what a heat just, exchanger just is. Just a tool. Yeah. It's, it's like a radiator, yeah. basically. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're we're just gonna pass through. All the water that go out. Come back again. Is, okay. is the yes. water treated? Are there any chemicals in that water? Yes. PVC? Yeah, yeah. 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 that's why I can travel. That's awesome. Yeah. Of course, there is in these closed water systems some chemicalia in it also. Sure. Prevent scaling. For, for, for yeah, PA and have the uh, right PA and, and all these figures, yeah. What's your total flow out? Yeah, well, let's say. Flow rate. Total flow rate. Or liters per second or? No, uh, yeah. without that uh, we'll... So, such a day like today, that is summer, you have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, goal, right? <laughs> then uh, uh, Mr. Pierre uh, sent out about 20 cubic meters per hour. Hmm. And the in the winter time, it's nearly 100 okay. cubic meter per hour. And the, and the peak is how much? 100 uh, cubic meter. Uh, 100 uh, cubic uh, meters uh, per uh, hour. Uh, wow. That's a uh, that's absolute peak. That's quite a system. I'd like to see the pump. Uh, well, we'll see. You will come in and see everything. Oh yeah! yeah. Excellent. Dude, that's a lot of water moving. Yeah, dude. That's a lot. Uh, so there's thin there's there's diameter. There's, there's little there's diameter tubes. There's 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 no, no, no. There's there's yeah. All that water is huh? not going through a little tube like that. The water is going through a bigger yeah. tube. Oh, that's on, on, on the and that's yeah. where it comes to the houses that's small. Yeah. 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 There's a big yeah. I'll just think of yeah. 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 yeah, dude. So, uh, how, how many people are employed in this installation here? There is Mr. Pierre, and then one more in half time. Okay. So one full time, one half time? <laughs> yeah. One wow. full time, one half time. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So labor is. So we saw this. Yeah, yeah. So we saw what? That's what we saw in the skift state. So in the weekend or in the evening, they have their mobile telephone. Mm -hmm. Sure. And if something happened, then the customer called them and said, "Come and help us." Yeah. 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 Y
but normally it's running without problems. Will there be, I'm sorry, will there be a, a time period in the future where you have to replace those lines? Like 30 years from now, 40 years from now? Når du tager så meget hovedlinje og stiklinje, skal du så reparere dem? Skal du ned og skifte dem ud en gang imellem? Ja, det, det kunne jo godt øh, ske, at man skulle skifte det. Det er næsten nyt det hele nu her. Vi har nok en forventning om, at det i hvert fald kan holde i 50 år. So, uh, der kunne ske en uheld, hvis der er en eller der er godt ødelagt af det her. Ja, ja. Normally, så if it is running, they said it can be down in the ground for 50, 50 nice. years. Nice, okay. Yeah. Great. But of course it can happen that something uh, happen. happens. Mm -hmm. It could be uh, something that's a stone or things that damage these one. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. But right. normally not. But best case, 50 years. Great. Wow. Wow. Awesome. <coughs> that is. Low maintenance. Lige nu her, der bruger vi omkring 25 kubikmeter af fris om et eller andet. Så skal vi gå ud og se det. Ja, det kan vi gå ud. Så kan vi lige sige tallet derude. Så nu vil vi følge Mr. Freben. Okay.